In this video, we're going to learn about variables, coefficients, constants, operators, and how to write algebraic expressions. In order to learn some of the new math concepts down the road, it's important that we go through some definitions together. And don't worry, because they're really not too difficult to learn. We already know what a variable is. Let's say there's a variable like d. Well, sometimes you will see a number immediately before a variable, like 5d. A number and a variable side by side actually means that they're being multiplied together. So this just means 5 times d. The 5 over here is called a coefficient. A coefficient is a number that is placed before a variable and is being multiplied with a variable. Be sure not to confuse a coefficient with a constant. A constant is just a standalone number. It is a fixed value. Since it's not a variable and it's not being multiplied by a variable, the value of a constant does not change. For example, if your friend owes you $20, he literally owes you exactly $20. You know the amount that he owes you and it won't change. But when we're dealing with an amount that we don't know, that's when we use a variable. And of course, the value can then vary. So to clarify, in this situation, this number is a coefficient. And in this situation, this number is called a constant. Next up is an operator. A division sign, a multiplication sign, an addition sign, and a subtraction sign. These are all called operators. Now, you might have seen variables, numbers, and operators come together to form math phrases such as 3x plus 2. These are called algebraic expressions. An algebraic expression is a math phrase that has at least one variable in it, and it can also contain numbers and operators. Now because it has a variable in it, its final value can vary. So let's take a look at some of the different types of algebraic expressions. As we can see, this algebraic expression has a coefficient and a variable. This one has a division between a number and a variable. And this one has a constant being added with a coefficient multiplied by a variable. Lastly, this one is just the variable by itself. Of course, these algebraic expressions could also be expressed with English phrases. The first one is the equivalent of the English expression 3 multiplied by a number. Or another way to say this would be a number tripled. So if you were asked to mathematically express this, then you should be able to get this. And for the second one, 2 divided by a number. For the third one, we can say 3 more than the quadruple of a number. And lastly, this one is the easiest to express in English. It would just be a number or an unknown number. So what if I told you to write down an algebraic expression for the sum of a number and five? Then we can choose a letter of our choice and write x plus five. What if instead we said the sum of a number and another number. In this scenario, we should use two different variables because we have here a number and another number. This means that the two unknown numbers might be different or it might not be different. So in this case, I'm gonna choose x and y and our expression will be x plus y. So again, Notice here that we have two different variables. This means that the values of these two variables could potentially be different, or they could also just be the same. This is a very different situation from our next example. How would we make an algebraic expression for the following English phrase? 
the sum of the same unknown number. Well, since the number is unknown, we do use a variable. But since the unknown number is guaranteed to be the same, unlike the previous example, we should also use the same variable. Thus, an example of the algebraic expression for this would be x plus x, or more simply, 2x. So there you have it. Now you know what an algebraic expression can look like. You'll be able to identify variables, coefficients, constants, and operators.